Hey guys, it's a Fuganista. I had to find my remote. I'm sitting up here watching one of my all time favorites. Can y'all tell me what that is? What show that is? Y'all should know now. You should know about the music. Anyway, guys, I'm watching a good episode of, I won't tell y'all the name of it. Y'all guess. Write in the comment section what am I watching. I'm gonna put it on mute because that is distracting. But y'all, I'm a country girl. And that is actually the um, episode one of this show. Put that on mute. I could sit and watch this all day, guys. I am such a weirdo. But anyway, it's the Fuganista. Hey, y'all. Just flew in from Vegas, DC 10. Um, about to do a Dollar Tree haul. Let me get my setting all right. All right, guys, I've been sitting on stuff. Ooh, Fuganista coming out all over the place. But anyway, doing a Dollar Tree haul. Now, I have not hauled all summer long. Most of you know that the Fuganista has been, you know, busy with life. But I have been watching y'all videos. I have been going to the Dollar Tree. Not hauling because I have not been in the mood to haul. But today, I have about three visits to a few Dollar Trees. And I want to show y'all what I picked up. So let's get started with my haul. Throughout the summer, I've been watching y'all haul in all of these gorgeous books. I'm just going to start showing you most of them. You've already seen this beautiful Southern Living book. Y'all know I'm a true fan of Southern Living. It was a staple in my household when I was a little girl. But this beautiful gardening book, okay, gorgeous pictures. Retail price on that, guys, was $20, 20 plus dollars, okay? For a dollar, you cannot beat that. So I picked up two Southern Living books, and this one is a Christmas. Now guys, I love these so much that I have paid full price for these books. I love a beautiful illustrated cookbook. I'm, I'm actually, I'm probably a collector. So when I saw these, I really, really wanted this. And I was hoping that there, that there were more of the Southern Living that I could find. I could not, I'm just glad I got my hands on this one, okay? But I just love looking at all, oh, look. See, you talk about inspiration. Y'all can kill me with Pinterest if you want to, okay? And I'm not a Pinterest girl. I get it, y'all. I know you can, I guess you, you, you tell me you can, but I like seeing hard copy. Look at that. Look how pretty. I like reading it. Uh, and then the menus here, like, you know, I haven't been on Pinterest, so I cannot attest to them doing this, but... In addition to the beautiful pictures, look, you can actually have the menu. It's just laid out for you. Just such a beautiful, illustrated, gorgeous book. And you just cannot beat Southern Living for some great recipes, okay? And I've already, I've already kind of thumbed through this one. And I cannot wait to get to try out some of this stuff. Look at that, okay? And they cook like, you know, I'm used to eating. How my uh, mom and grandma used to cook, okay? Or still cook. And I picked up Cooking Light. I picked up two of these. I have a Crave, this one. And then I have another Cooking Light, Ways to Cook Grilling. All right. These also just make nice things to put out on the table during the holidays. I like bringing out my books. Now, I ended up picking up, I think, too many of these. Uh, I picked up both of these Matthew Mee's holiday books. Okay. And I kind of thumbed through this one already. And this one actually has, I guess he's working with a couple of designers or maybe he's just working with other women and they're decorating a space. Beautiful illustrations, uh, some great, look at that, wow. Now y'all know I'm gonna try it, right? Really, really pretty, all red on that tree. Ah, so I just like sitting these out doing the holidays also. And for a dollar, you could not beat it. And then look guys, a couple of real simple books. Okay, and I could not find the life book that I wanted, but I ended up picking the small life book up. It's an older book. I can tell it's older because look how young the president looks and look how young Bo the dog is on that picture. But you know, Life Magazine is known for its beautiful uh, photos and this is no exception. Just a gorgeous little book to sit on the coffee table. And then I picked up this big Sports Illustrated. It's football season. I'm a big college football fan and an Eagles fan. We're getting ready to play our home opener this weekend despite us losing Monday Night Football. Whatever, Melanie. 
I'm just playing. It's all in fun. Uh, but this big, huge Sports Illustrated book. And this is the college football book. A gorgeous book. Uh, look at all these teams on here. Yeah, my husband's going to get a kick out of that one. I'm just going to sit on the coffee table. And I'm sure all the guys, when they come over, they'll take a look at it. Yeah. But you cannot beat these books, guys, for a dollar. And then Mirabella found her a cute time science project book. And it has Time for Kids, Big Book of Science Experiments. And she's already been looking through this, okay? She's kind of a little science geek, which I like. And she's already talking about what she wants to do for the science fair, okay? And it, okay, you know, I have to go get in my kitchen this next thing. Now, this did not come from the Dollar Tree. I picked this up from Family Dollar. But another thing that was sending me out on a mission, I just had to have them, were these cute, adorable salt and pepper shakers, okay? And they have the little hole, you know, for the salt and pepper. But I won't be using them as salt and pepper shakers. I might put, put them out on the table, maybe. But I'm going to put this next to my Keurig. And I told you I found this cute little cup, and I think that just matches perfectly. Look at that for this harvest season, getting ready for and fall. guys, look at these. Look at the little owls. Okay, a little salt and pepper shaker. And look at these dishes that I already have. Now that will be used as salt and pepper shakers for this holiday season for me. I'm just gonna sit them out on the table and it just matches that perfectly. Look at that plate, okay? And I usually put out yellow, a really, really pretty dark, dark, deep yellow. Cute little owls. And of okay. all the ones I think I like the best are these. Look at these little acorns. How precious, how cute. Look okay, at that. Guys, and in addition to all of those little cute salt and pepper fall harvest type um, shakers, they did have their Halloween merchandise out. And if you are into that, I did pick up these cute little black and white straws. And then I picked this up, which might be going back because I thought it was two-sided. It's a window cling. And I need this for my front door. I just thought that would be cute. Last year, I found pumpkins that kind of match what I was using the colors. But these little spider webs, I just thought they were kind of cute. But I think this may be going back in the go back pile. I do that too. Yeah, guys, if y'all don't know, this is my go back to the Dollar Tree basket that I just kind of keep. And they're items that I don't use. I bought too many of these when I was home. So guess what? I'm taking these back. Y'all remember these? The craze of these. I picked up like three of these and my husband doesn't like it because I don't perm. This is a neutralizing shampoo and I won't put this on the girl's hair. I bought three too many. These are going back. You know, unless my, you know, sister-in-law comes over and she wants it. But I'm not using them and I've learned not to just be holding on to stuff. And guess what? I think little spiders are going back because they're not what I thought they were because the back of them does not have the design. So if I put it on one side of my window in the front, you know, you'll be able to see that. And I, I want to be able to see this on that side of the window. So, yeah, these are going back. Okay. And sticking with household thing, this is a new item I have never seen. These little furniture sliders. And I have a set of these that I picked up from Home Depot. But I'm going to put these in the girls' room. Because when I'm vacuuming or trying to move furniture out of the way. And they really work. I don't know if these work, but the ones I picked up from Home Depot that look like these work. So I'm hoping that these work as well as those. I'll let y'all know. Okay, looks like I got some glass items. Oh, yeah. I wanted one of these to put some sugar in. A couple of y'all have hauled this all summer long. It's that little, um, looks like a old-time candy jar. And I'm going to put some sugar in that next to my coffee station. Okay, guys, another yeah. household item that I picked up was this little container. It's almost like a Tupperware-like uh, container for your cakes. And I was thinking, when we were home, people were bringing by all kinds of stuff. Cakes, it's the style, honey. They fed us, okay? And I was thinking, we were so worried about getting somebody back their container. That's just such a throwback to me. And I was saying, you know, something like this, if I take it to, I don't know, the church or to somebody, you know, uh, who needed it, I wouldn't worry about this. It's only a dollar. So I picked up one of these little containers, you know, just in case. And then again, it's a nice little storage piece. Okay. I always keep these in the car, guys. I've hauled these before, the little assured. Uh, and they also are antibacterial. And I always get the 75 because sometimes they still have some on the shelf that have 60 in it. And to go along with the household things, I need to get to scrubbing. So I picked up your little toilet bowl scrubber and some toilet bowl cleaner. Lime away which, you know, gets rid of calcium deposits and this little small container of Lysol Power Fresh. And I think that must be in lavender, a lavender fresh scent. I like these because they are antibacterial. Yep. Okay. 
And these brushes, guys, because they're a dollar, they're kind of one-time uses for me. I don't keep these around. I'll go up, do a good scrubbing of all the toilets in my house, and then this just gets chucked. It was only a dollar, so, yeah. Yep, now, guys, I bought a lot of groceries this time around from the Dollar Tree. So let's just go through all the bags. I think I still even have some more over there, but let's just go through these bags really, really quick. Now, I've been seeing you guys hauling this. I am in love with this pasta. I did a mock lasagna with this. Oh, it was so good, too. And I also picked up the Barilla Bacon and Cheese. Now, wasn't a huge fan, but the Frugal Nista doctored it up. Um, first of all, look how loose it is. I like my, you know, sauce to be kind of chunky. So I ended up mixing this with some uh, fresh stuff, garlic, mushrooms. You know, I doctored it up, and they, the kids loved it. I actually did this, a little bit of Alfredo sauce, and the little butterfly pastas with a meat. I think I used turkey yesterday. It was really, really good after I finished doctoring up. Um, I don't think I'll probably buy this anymore because it's just too soupy for my liking. I kind of like my pasta sauce to be chunky. But yeah, have one more of those. Uh, a few national brand items. Frosted Mini Wheat. Here's the three pack. And then I picked up two of the two packs. Well, two in a two pack. Then I found some more cereal. Talk about a throwback. I haven't had this or even seen this in ages. Just some cornflakes. I had a taste when I saw that. Yeah, I picked up those. These were new to my Dollar Tree. I'd never seen them before. And this is Honey Bunches of Oats. These are the breakfast biscuits. Okay. I picked one up in strawberry. Here is one in honey. And they had one in chocolate. I picked okay. up two of these, one in strawberry. There's some preserves. This is a bigger container, and I picked up this brand before. I picked up the strawberry and the apricot or apricot, however you say it. Okay. Magnolia uses this in a um, dish that she usually prepares for me for the holidays, so that's why I kind of picked that one up. But this is really good with uh, English muffins. Okay. So, yeah, I picked up those, and that's a big, nice size jar, guys. This is actually 17.5 uh, ounces, okay? Yeah, so that's over a pound, and it's really good. Uh, did some juicy juices. I had my niece, and I will have my nephew. He'll be here in a minute. Uh, they are tiny children, so I think, uh, you know, she's only four. So they don't need the big juices, but I like to put these in my refrigerator for them. So pick up two of the little juicy juices. I picked up some fruit snacks, and this is a national brand also, guys. It's by Betty Crocker. So I picked up two packages of those, and they are 10 in each packet. And then look at this gigantic container of national brand Wishbone Blue Cheese. And I always just check the expiration date, guys, and we have plenty of time on this one. This was not expired. It doesn't go bad or, well, it shouldn't say go bad. The expiration date or the sell-by date, that's a better term. The sell-by date on that is February 2016. And we'll be finished with that. Found another bag of food. Look what I found, some more national brand Lowry's. This is a Tuscan sun-dried tomato, a marinade. I'm going to try this hot chocolate, little K-Cups. I haven't heard anybody review this, but the girl should like it. I was shocked to see K-Cups in the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I always get the bagels. And guys, this is my first time oh, doing English Muffin Schmidt brand, another national brand. Can't beat the Dollar Tree for my breads. As you can see, I had one of those this morning. Some candy for church. This Red Bird, a little soft candy in the flavor apple. I picked up two of my Butterfingers. A pack of Blow Pops, two of my Coconut Russells, and two of these Coconut Caramel Home Style Candy. Okay, guys, y'all know it's football season, and we usually do game day. I love picking up chips and things like that. I actually saw these little dippers, which I thought would be cool so we wouldn't waste them. 
and they are by the brand Utz. That's a sour, creamy, oh, this is called Creamy Onion Dip. And it's by Utz. Should be pretty good. I picked up two of those. Some little chips to dip with it by Utz. A plain chip. And a cheddar and sour cream chip. Utz is a good brand. And because I probably have everybody over, I like doing individual, so it looks like it's a lot. But it's better to me to get these that everybody will eat. Here's some little cheese curls. Some hers cheddar and sour cream. Some little wise cheese doodles, my favorite. And you guys have got me hooked on these little popcorns. Actually, my husband likes them. I, I think they're okay, but my husband really liked these. This is a white cheddar of the popcorners. And I bought two bags of those. What's in this bag? More chips. Uh, I saw these little Lay's stacks. I've never tried these, but I picked up two of these. Okay. And then some little fruit roll-ups that somebody has already been in. Oh, this one has, I think it's five in a pack. No, four in a pack. So somebody's been in that and took out one and this one's empty. No. Okay, guys, I think this is my last grouping. And I guess we'll go with my back to school bag. Dollar Tree had some really nice back to school items. I didn't haul any, but these were items that I picked up after my children started back to school. I needed some labels and these are by Polaroid. I needed those. I like making my own little, you know, mailing labels. So I needed that. I got this from Mirabella. She likes little puppies, dog. She has been begging for one. And these are just so cute, the little stickers. Look at that. Little puppy dogs and kittens. Yeah, so cute. So I picked that up for uh, Mirabella. Something for her to um, put in her little composition book. And these stickers, I think I picked up, it's 250 in here. And I picked up two books because I bought one for my niece when we were in church. Again, I just like giving her these. It keeps her occupied while we are sitting, you know, in church. She likes sticking them to her little composition books once she gets bored with coloring. And it's 250 cute little sparkly bugs in this one. And I think the one that I bought had, was it Puppy Dogs? The one that she used in church the last time. Yeah. So, cute little stickers for the girls. I thought about poster season already. I thought these were cute. It includes five shapes for your poster boards. Some little neon starbursts. Okay. You know, just thinking for back to school, we'll use those. Some little glue dots. And we are going over our math facts. And when I saw that these had division and multiplication on them, Mirabella is fourth grade and it's just kind of a refresher. She already basically knows them, but they timed them in her class on math facts. And then I saw these division cards, just flashcards that we'll be working with her with. And even though these have like an elementary princess on it, but they are multiplication. So it's just another reinforcement of cards, okay? that we'll use to get her really, really up to speed. And then I even picked up some addition facts just to get her up to speed. Uh, we have to buy tissues and I like these because they is a huge, you know, box and it's 200 in here and they're by Scotty's and you can't beat that for a dollar. And this goes back to her school. Actually, I need to put that in her book bag. And she needed some index cards so we could make more math facts. Okay, so I picked those up for her in a 200 hey guys, I told y'all it was a lot. Now it is time for like personal stuff. I thought these were really cute. This La La Loopsie, my niece loves this cartoon. Okay, but this is a raspberry three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. And I think I'll, you know, the girls probably could use this even for just bubble bath. It smells good. I don't know how thick it is. It might be kind of runny, but this will be good just for bubble baths. Okay, smells good. And again, that is 24 full ounces. So I picked up two of those. 
And I picked up these for the girls' bathroom. They already have one upstairs, a little Hello Kitty foaming soap. They really like that. It smells good also. My little niece likes that. And I picked these up, guys. The little small, softy. This one is coconut oil. And I've used this, uh, you know, forever. And this one I had never tried before. And you can tell I've already been using I used this on Mirabella's hair when I did her hair for back to school. This one is the Argon oil. It has vitamin E, B5 enriched. It does contract, you know. We were either suffering from minor colds or allergies. The beginning of like the change of season. I didn't care. I threw out everybody's toothbrush. And when we went away, we used toothbrush. So I just went on a, you know, toothbrush brush buying binge over the last week. Every time I went to a new Dollar Tree, I just picked up two brushes. I picked up two of the medium. I like these. So I picked up two packages of those. And I picked up two packages of these, but the girls have already been in it. These are three in a pack. They are the Colgate brand, and they are the soft bristles, which actually my uh, hygienist tells me that that's what we all should be using. But the girls definitely use the soft bristles, so I picked up those. And they've already been in another pack of those. Here is another pack of the medium. And then I picked up these guys because I love these when we travel. And the last time we were away, I was completely out of them. And I also keep these in my guest bedroom also. So I just grabbed a bunch of those in different colors. And when my husband travels for work, he needs one. He takes one. And then I have not seen these in a while. Oh, again, this comes with a toothbrush, a little toothpaste, and your little protective cover. I like these. And then this comes with the toothpaste, uh, the little small toothbrush with a small handle, a protective cover. And I just picked these up in pink and green. Okay. Staple in my house are my ultra, is my Ultra Bright. I like this. And uh, Magnolia uses the Colgate Sensitive. Or does she use a different? Yeah, this is Colgate sensitive. Yeah. And then we have a bag still will look like personal things, even though these are for cupcakes. I'm going to use these in the girls' room, you know, to house something. This is really cute. I remember seeing these before. And it's just a little cupcake container. I picked up two of those. And that would be cute to put, I don't know, some, I don't know, bobby pins or something in. It has a little screw top. But that's going to be nice to sit on there. Uh, dresser or on their desk and I picked up two of those and they also had this in blue also okay you can see that blue I picked these up at the beginning of the summer Magnolia likes these the hot jewels but I noticed this is the tribal print I don't know what the other print was called that I bought I, ha I didn't haul them but I bought her those earlier this summer, but these are cute. We went to the Made in America Festival. All the young girls had these on. So, those are cute. Uh, Baby Magic. Love these. Hard to find these. Yep. Picked up another one of those. I pick these up all the time. They're just good to have in the car everywhere. Summertime. Freshen you up, girls. Uh, since I've blown my hair out, I needed some small teeth comb, and I picked that little pack up. This pack is not bad. This little rat tail comb here is really nice to have. It's not too hard on the scalp, especially uh, in the summer. I'm more natural. I don't blow out, but yeah, these combs aren't bad. I picked up another pack of these because I tried them in the blue, and I just said, you know what? We're always losing combs. I'll pick up another package of combs. And also, guys, from the Dollar Tree, the Frugal Nista picked up some beauty items. Can you believe it? I saw these and just kind of went crazy. Uh, I really hope these are what I think they are. I picked up the Milani. Let me get them all. And what I said I was going to do, like I said, I have my go back to the Dollar Tree pile. If I don't like these, they're going back. So I'll try one and see. But these are the Milani Power Lip. Okay. And I picked them up in all the ones that I, you know, thought would look nice on me. This is in 08. Here's one in 03. And I'll kind of let you guys see that if it has a name on it. And look at that one. And that's in 06. 
And I am really curious to see. Here's one in 05. And then here's a Mago in 07. And then I saw these. And I picked up all of these also. Well, I picked up the ones I thought I would like. These are called Milani Lip Intense. And I picked one up in 02. Here's one in 01. A red. And then this is a really... Uh, like a coral color in 03. Okay, guys, that is it for Dollar Tree. I was going to try to combine it with some things that I picked up from my big lots that were like a dollar-ish, but I think this haul is big enough. It feels good being back, guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for all of your support that you have shown me, my channel, my family. Thank you for your prayers. I really, really appreciate it, guys. And now it's time for me to put all of this stuff back up and fix my family some damage. Oh, look at these guys. These are good too. I've been like jonesing on these things with my tea, the little Danish cookies from Dollar Tree. Yeah. Y'all go out and get y'all some. All right, guys. See y'all later.